G'day. I've just got a couple of small jobs to do today. I'm going to take some queen cells out of a grafting hive and then I'm going to set another hive up ready to do a graft tomorrow. It's a horrible cold day here but uh, I've just got to push on. I'm going to start by taking the queen cells out, put them in the incubator and then move on to the next hive. I'm using the cloak board method in this hive, so there's a queen excluder under this box. I'll be able to use this for another graft in about a week or so. Nice calm bees. Despite the fact that it's uh, been it was raining heavily yesterday and today it's overcast and quite cool compared to the 30 degrees we had the day before. All right, I've had one peek in here after three days after the graft and it looks quite successful at that stage. Let's see if it still is. It's always a nerve wracking moment, this peeking out a graft. see that, uh, that comb that they're drawing is a sign that they're well fed. Gonna be an act putting these into cages. I'll have to trim a lot of that comb off. I like to be as gentle as I can. Don't want to knock those cells around. Just replace that frame since they're so well fed, they'll draw that one out pretty quickly. I don't want to take any bees into the shed, but uh, at the same time, I don't want to leave these cells out and exposed to the cold air for too long either. I find that if I walk while I'm brushing the bees off, I don't get as many landing back on again. That was a reasonably successful graft after all. It looks to me like we've got uh, Two misses out of 24. So this is going to be a long, slow process I'm not going to film the whole lot I'll just show you one just a question of trimming that wax back enough so that I can slip it down inside one of these little protecting cages Oh dear, we might have a bit of a problem. Don't know if you can see that. It looks to me like that cell has emerged. They're not due to emerge until Tuesday next week. So hopefully it hasn't, because if it has, that means there's a virgin queen running around in that hive, which means that I can't use it for another graft until I'm quite certain that I've removed her, which is quite challenging at times. So I'm not 100% sure what to think about that. 
I'll just have to keep an eye on that hive. So that reduces it to 21 out of 24. And that's another dud. So that reduces it to 20 out of 24. Still pretty good. Yeah, so these these uh, cells are, look like they're crowning, which means that they're very close to emerging. I'm going to have to get my act together and start placing these in hives. So after editing some of that footage, I've decided to make the video of placing queen cells into hives a separate video, and that'll be the next one out after this one. As a footnote, those cells didn't emerge early, and so I have used that hive to do another graft. I'm going to check that soon, and hopefully everything will be good with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.